Yo, what's good people? Producer Micah here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can easily create a beat to an already existing vocal. So let's say an artist already has an idea of, you know, the song they want to sing. I'm going to be showing you guys how you could easily go about creating such beat. So without wasting time, guys, you know, let's go right into our DAW. Let me show you guys how you could go about creating such beats. So quickly guys, I'm just going to pick the vocal we're going to be using and this vocal is actually from Iga Boy. So that's the vocal sample I'm, we're going to be using for this video. Quickly, I'm just going to drag it into my DAW and this is the vocal. When working with an artist that already has like an idea of what they want, the first thing for me I do is not the drums because getting the drums is going to be easy when I already have the melody. So I just need to flow with the artist. So the first thing I do is to create the chord progressions. So what I'm going to also do is just try to detect the tempo and tell him it's 102, which I don't think. So what I can do is again is to tap. So I'm just going to tap, right click on the tempo and just click on tap. Yeah, so, it's so I, I, I've been able to tap to 97. So I'm just going to turn on the metronome and let's see if we, are, we, we tapped right. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to find the key. Sorry, find the key. So the key is G. So I'm just going to try to just see how I can come up with the progression. So this is our two, which is going to be A. So let me put that down. Then let's see La. So that's just like the base base note we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna quickly arrange the chords. So um let's let me go down an octave. So let's put quickly just put this um so the same thing. So we have like our A minor chord. Then for our let's put for our six. Um, let's see. So then, then this last, which will be our one. Let's see. Yeah, so this is basically our chord progression, but I'm just gonna play, I'm just gonna strum it, play around with it and strum it. Yeah, so I just strummed it, and this is basically what we have. And so, trust me, once you have done this already, the artist is gonna be feeling okay, you know, we are, we are, we are going somewhere, I'm feeling the vibe. Yeah, so I think I've gotten the melody to an extent where... So I'm just... Let me just render it as wave. Yeah. So um, it's still a bit fast, but you know, a lot of you guys asking me about this preset. I've dropped this preset in one of my videos. I can't actually even... Yeah. Yeah, nice. So um, what I can bring in next is my bass. My bass. And I'm gonna be... And I'm gonna be using Omnisphere bass. So let's just cut this, go back to the bass. And um, I'm gonna be using the... So quickly, just put down the bass. All right, so I'm gonna start with start with our two. Okay. 
all right guys so um i really need you guys help right now um i'm trying to do a beat collab with j cactus you know i'm sure you guys know j cactus so i would be glad if you guys could just tag him on this video and um, request a collab this is really gonna go a long way in boosting this channel part of my goal for you know 2024 so if you guys can help me achieve that i'm really gonna be grateful man thank you guys so let's go right back into the video all right so let's put our base so then i can start bringing in the drums start adding, start adding some shakers you know so i'm gonna go to this I'm up, um, afro high life park and just look for a very sweet shaker so let me see with my um let's solo this so it's so that's so um next thing i can do is bring in the conga And I got someone asking me if this is a very good this is a good compressor, you know. It's a good compressor. Just make just so it slides. Let's go over to uh, arcade. Just add some nice, some nice sax. So you're on the key of G. So let me just shift it a little bit. Let's So you can see basically see how you could just you know um follow flow along with the artist so listen to that part of the songs and let's see how we could just play around it I 
So for this side, I think I could add more pad. Yeah, so you guys get an idea, man. I'm still gonna spend time to finish up this beat. Okay, so I, I, before then, let me just try to add this pad. I think that's gonna be like the last thing I'm gonna add. And trust me, that's just gonna be feeling this. If you can hear this on speakers. <laughs> Trust me, this is fire. Like, it's fire. So I'm just going to add a pad. And I'm um, just going to go to Analog Lab. Yeah, so I'm just going to copy the e-piano chords. And let's call this pads. Yeah, so let's just... All right, so let's just listen to the top, you know, just easily created a vibe. Oh, that mandolin, ah, it's still sounding not nice, but you know. Yep, so guys, you can see how very easy, <laughs> how very easy it is to create beats, even though, you know, the idea is not coming from me, it's coming from an artist. You could just start with your chord progression then layer in some drums and, you know, with just one or two, the artist is going to start feeling the vibe, trust me. So if you know, if you got something from this video, you could check out my amazing videos on here or here whichever one you guys want to check out and trust me you're really gonna enjoy it thank you guys for watching and have an amazing weekend guys thank you for watching and you know peace